Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 29th, and you're listening to Sentinel Today from The Daily Sentinel. Join us on weekdays for local news, events, history, and so much more. This episode was brought to you in part by Bank of Utica, in a league all of their own. Today, the new Hartford Town Board has just approved the preliminary budget for 2025, and there's a lot to unpack. Before we jump in, here are a few other stories that you should know about. A 40-year-old woman is accused of slashing her boyfriend across the face with a knife on Arnold Avenue Sunday night. The Whitesboro Fire Department has received a $207,000 grant for firehouse improvements from the Volunteer Fire Infrastructure and Response Equipment Grant Program. Big changes are happening in Utica's Bag Square Plaza, with new businesses moving in and some farewells. More on that later. For more on all of these stories, visit youarsentinel.com. Now, our feature story. The new Hartford Town Board has just approved the preliminary budget for 2025, and there's a lot to unpack here. Let's get into it. So, after making some significant changes to the original budget proposal put together by Town Supervisor Paul Michione, the new Hartford Town Board has given the green light to its preliminary budget and has also scheduled a public hearing. This all happened during a special meeting on Wednesday, October 23rd. Now the board made a few key moves during this meeting. They decided to reallocate money that was already in the budget to fund a new code supervisor position. They also set aside an additional $70,000 for accounting oversight and agreed to add two more police officers to the town's roster. These changes came after an initial budget discussion on October 16th, but that meeting ran late, going all the way to 11 p.m., so they had to reconvene on the 23rd to finalize things. Let's break down some of the changes they made. First off, they allocated $95,000 for a new code supervisor. That includes both salary and benefits. They managed to cover this by increasing the estimated revenue from fire inspections, which they expect will bring in more money. Fourth Ward Councilor David Tehan was particularly focused on boosting funds for accounting oversight. Originally, Missioni had budgeted $30,000 for this, but Tehan pushed for $100,000. His idea was to move money from accounts that, in previous budgets, haven't fully used the funds allotted to them. Now, Town Supervisor Michione wasn't completely on board with this increase. He was cautious, pointing out that the town has never spent that much on accounting oversight before. Right now, New Hartford is working with the Bonadio Group to help with municipal accounting and catch up on bank reconciliations. Michione mentioned that in the three months they've been working with Bonadio, they've already spent nearly $15,000. He said, and I quote, I don't mind paying, and they're a great company but I think we have to work with what we've got right now and move ahead. Tehan, however, emphasized the need for solid financial controls, whether through Bonadio or another option. He made it clear that this wasn't about any suspicion of wrongdoing. It was just about making sure the town's finances are in good shape. There is no implication of anything nefarious going on here, Tehan said. This is proper financial control. It's that simple. We don't have that today. In the end, the preliminary budget passed with a roll call vote. Councilors James Messa, John Latini, David Reynolds, and David Tahan all voted in favor, while Missione voted against it. Now the next step is a public hearing, which is set for Thursday, November 7th at the Town Municipal Building at 8635 Clinton Street. Before we continue, a quick message. The Sentinel Premium Golf Pass has arrived. At only $99, the Golf Pass grants you access to 16 of the best golf courses in the Mohawk Valley. Head over to PremiumGolfPass.com for a full list of courses and grab yours today. Next, big changes are happening in Utica's Bag Square Plaza with new businesses moving in and some farewells. First up, Fuente's Kitchen, a Mexican-Asian fusion restaurant, is coming to 94 Genesee Street. Owner Uziel Fuentes hopes to open by late November. They're also hiring staff at fuenteskitcheny.com. A few doors down at 104 Genesee Street, Silk Utica, a cocktail and dessert bar, is moving into the former Peepers location. Renovations are underway, though no opening date is set yet. Lastly, La Bistro Restaurant at 106 Genesee Street has closed. Bags Square is evolving. Come check it out. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. For more on all of these stories, visit us at youarsentinel.com or click the link in our show notes. Also, 
Right now you can subscribe and get unlimited digital access for just $1 per week. Learn more at yoursentinel.com slash subscribe.